A quick review for a long division, produced and narrated by Michael Canelli. In this video, we're going to review the steps for long division. First of all, let's start with the terms so we know what we're doing. Look at this sample. The number outside the division box is called the divisor. The number inside is called the dividend. The number that is being built on top is the answer, and we call it the quotient. Now the four steps to long division can be find, multiply, subtract, bring down. We find a number, to multiply it by the divisor, subtract it from the dividend, and bring down the next digit in the dividend. Now here's a tip to help you remember those steps. Think of a family, father, a mother, sister, brother. They need to be in that order. Find, multiply, subtract, and bring down. That should help you remember those four steps. Now let's try a problem. 675 divided by 5. Let's go to the first step. We think of father. Find how many times the divisor can go into the first digit. I draw a line on my problem, or I do it mentally so I can keep my numbers lined up. Then I look to see how many times 5 will go into 6. Or you can think of it this way. 5 times what number equals or is less than 6? Well, obviously the answer is 1. So we write 1 above the 6 in our quotient. We go to step 2. We think of mother. Multiply the divisor by the number we found and write it below the first digit. We're going to think 5 times 1 and then write it below. And that's going to be 5 because 5 times 1 is 5. We're ready for step 3. Sister or subtract. Subtract the product from the dividend and write the, dis the difference below. We subtract 5 from 6 and we get 1. It's written below our problem. Now let's go to step 4. Bring down the next digit from the dividend and write it below. The next digit in our number that's being divided or the dividend is 7. So we bring the 7 straight down and bring it next to the 1. Now we're ready to start those steps again. Back to father. So we repeat the first step. Find a number to multiply by 5, this time for a product that is less than or equal to 17. Well, what number times 5 will give us a number close to 17? In our mind again, we can think 5 times what number is less than or equal to 17? If you guess 3, you're right. Let's put 3 up there in the quotient and go on to step 2. We're going to multiply. Multiply 3 by 5 and write the product below the 17. Well, 3 times 5 is set 15, so we write it below the 17. Let's go to step 3, which is subtract. We're going to subtract 15 from 17 in this problem and write the difference. So we put the subtraction sign, the bar, and subtract 15 from 17, and when we get the answer 2. Let's go to step 4 again. Bring down. This time it's the last digit. We only have a 5, so we bring it down to the 2 and write the 5 there. Now it's time to do all four steps one more time. Find. We're going to find a number to multiply by 5 that will get us as close as possible to 25. 5 would be the right answer. We go to the second step. Multiply. We're going to multiply 5 times 5 and we get 25. We go to the third step, subtract. This time we take 25 from 25, and our answer is 0. The last step is bring down. Since this is our last column, and 0 was our answer, and we have no other digits to bring down, our answer is 135. What about remainders? What if the dividend didn't divide evenly? Well. If that 5 were a 6, we would have brought down a 6, and then our remainder would have been 1. We would have had to write it like this, 135 with remainder 1. Or we can do it like this. Take the 1 that's a remainder, put it over the 5, which is the divisor, and we'd have 135 and 1 fifth. Let's review one more time the four steps to long division. Think father, mother, sister, brother. Or find, multiply, subtract, bring down. If you need more time, watch it again.